Hi, Dr. Jeff here again. I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, why you can't lose weight, okay? And uh, about a test we actually have that could actually measure the stress level on your nervous system, which may be affecting your weight loss, your inability to lose weight. Um, not only just your inability to lose weight, just fatigue and sickness in general. Um, what I want to talk about a little bit first is our nervous system. Our nervous system consists of a sympathetic nervous system and a parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is basically our fight or flight system. Okay, It's the gas um, pedal and it's supposed to be used mostly at short times. So we're walking through the woods, the lion jumps out, our adrenaline is kicks up, it gets kicked up, we got the flight flight going, we got this burst of energy and we run away from the lion. The parasympathetic, on the other hand, is more like the, the brake on our car. It slows things down, it relaxes you, um, digestion, uh, it's kind of stuff like that. And there's supposed to be a, a balance between these, these two systems. We're supposed to go push the gas for short bursts when we need a little short burst worth of, of, of response, and that's the sympathetic system. But the majority of the time, we should be fairly in a little relaxed state in the, the parasympathetic system. But what we actually find is that in two-state society, uh, stress, uh, we got the stress from job, we got stress from work, uh, people are drinking these stimulants, they're drinking coffees, they're drinking uh, energy drinks, um, that they tend to go a little bit more into a sympathetic um, system, which means they're always amped up. And this technology, I mean, this is, this is basic uh, you know, neurology that you could look up, uh, but this technology um, is studied quite well in um, elite performance athletes and what they do is typically they use this this technology um, for rest so you're training all the time hard 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 training um, and then you would do this stress recovery test um, and it would tell the athlete whether it's a uh, a time that is okay to the train because they're well rested or if they're in that sympathetic overstressed response because they've been so much training and that need need a rest day, um, we could, we're applying this technology to weight loss because the same thing is happening in people who are stubborn and aren't losing weight. So basically, what's happening here is we're seeing people that are so wired up in the sympathetic system, and um, like I said, it's the stress, it's the um, uh, stress to the jobs, the work. Uh, maybe they're exercising so hard and what happens when we become a dominant in the sympathetic system is since we're so wired up it actually really um, uh, becomes a great stress on the body and a fatigue so um, the quality of the sleep is poor um, like I said you're stressed out your hormone levels are, are are, are affected, are not in their optimum balance. Uh, if you remember seeing anything about these cortisol, the stress hormones, or even some of the ads that talk about the stress hormones and the supplement to help it, um, I really don't like the supplement that much, but their idea is on their body being under stress and raising these stress hormones of cortisol and also depressing um, estrogen and testosterone and these other hormones that are necessary for us to stay healthy and lose weight. When we're in this response where we're so sympathetic all the time, it has a very negative effect on, on uh, the hormones. And if your hormones aren't in the optimum balance, you're not going to be able to lose weight. That's just a, a given. Um, so what do we do? So what do we do? We have what we call a heart rate variability stress and recovery test. And like I said, this is, this is a test that has... Um, been uh, used by elite and professional athletes for, for quite uh, some time to determine their, their training. Um, it would be, they're out there training so hard and this test allows them to determine what oh, it's okay to train or to rest day. But we're going to apply it into the everyday person to try to um, measure the person's uh, stress level or sympathetic system and then based on that we could devise a health and wellness plan uh, aim to treat the person. So if someone's in this high sympathetic system, the last thing you want to do is going out exercising hard. That's just going to cause even more stress on 
you know, on the body. So sometimes people are trying to lose weight by exercising and they're actually causing even more stress on, on the body. A high heart rate, or I mean a low heart rate variability on the test has been associated um, with many chronic um, conditions and illnesses, even sudden death, okay? Um, people have had uh, very low heart rate variabilities have been shown to have a high uh, rate of just uh, sudden death, even in so-called healthy people. This is the person who um, maybe you heard of who runs a marathon every every month. He's just in incredible shape and training all the time, and then they go for a walk or a little jog, and boom, they have a heart attack. Or the marathoner who has a heart attack running a marathon, and it's how could this guy who is so healthy suddenly have a heart attack? Well, what they found on, on, on people is they have this very low heart rate variability or they're in this sympathetic amped up motion all the time that they're, they're training. Um, so we're using it for weight loss, but it, it, it really has an effect on the whole body's health in general. And the way we, we, we do the test is uh, it's very simple. Uh, we have you wear a heart rate monitor strap. Um, and then we have basically a, a um, system here that measures the heart rate. And what it's actually me measuring is heart rate variability. Your heart rate doesn't beat at the exact same time every time. It doesn't beat every exact same. Every 10 seconds it's beat or every 2 seconds it, it's beat. There's a very uh, variability in there. And what happens is... Um, uh, the measurement, the more fit that a person is or aerobically fit you are and healthy you are, you're going to have a higher heart rate variability and the more stress you are in this level here affecting all your hormones is um, a very low heart rate variability. So we basically do this test, it only takes a couple minutes and what we actually get there is we see a, uh, a number and that heart rate number, the variability is um, I just did this mine on mine and mine is a 76 and what it does it goes from a 0 uh, to 100 with a 0 being total amped out stress uh, uh, adrenaline um, cortisol levels all that to a uh, total sympathetic down at, at, at 100 and there's supposed to be a balance between and so if you think as a percent um, 15 percent my 76 is a little bit higher all over towards the, the parasympathetic, which means I'm, I'm rested, I'm recovering, my nervous system isn't under right now a great deal of you know, stress. Uh, we did this on a test th this morning for a lady and she was on a 20 um, down here. So she is totally wired. Uh, we did some blood work on her and we already confirmed a lot of her hormones are really out of balance. And so what we need to do with her is She's coming in for weight loss, but the last thing I'm going to have her do is now start running on treadmills and lifting heavy weights. We need to address this uh, first. We need to move her from the sympathetic back over to the parasympathetic. Because um, if she's up, if we have her work out here, she's just adding more stress onto her body. And she's already very stressful out. So this is why with our program here, what we're going to do is now that we know what's going on with your body's nervous system, we're going to have her do some um, uh, light walking. Uh, we're going to work with her diet on, on trying to get these hormonals bat balance better. And we're going to um, be giving her some different supplements and stuff like that that will help her with her, her hormone levels. Basically, kind of what we're going to do with her is we need her to get healthy before she could lose weight. And she needs to get healthy so she could actually lose weight. When you're in this sense right here, uh, that amped up, sympathetic, wired, fight or flight all the time, you're not going to lose, lose weight. I don't care how often you're exercising. And actually, the exercise you're doing is actually going to make it worse. So I hope that you understand that about um, heart rate variability stress and recovery test. It is a, a test that's been around for a while. We only use really with like elite and professional athletes. I don't know really too many weight loss clinics around that are doing that. It's very important. You could actually even, after we have people come in and we do this heart rate variability, uh, on some people it's very affordable if they have a smartphone to actually get some apps in the sensors so they can kind of monitor their, their stress 
um, as they go. Um, we also come in here and, and we test their heart rate variability every time to monitor their stress and, and to see how they're working with their nervous system stress. So I hope that gave you some more information. There's um, reasons why you're not losing weight despite exercise and diet. Um, our weight loss program goes way beyond uh, the eat less, exercise more, and I hope that gives you understanding why the eat less, exercise more doesn't necessarily work. Uh, we need to look inside you and find out what's happened with your metabolism, uh, your heart rate variability, your stress level, your hormones. Um, only that is going to result in, in true weight loss. So please go to, uh, if you want to learn more about this, go to my website and um, read all the videos uh, that I have on there. And I promise you that if you would look at all the videos on my website, um, it will change your life for the better. Um, I personally lost over 60 pounds myself and have maintained to keep it off. And I, that's the information I teach you on this, this website. So uh, please, uh, any questions you have on this, give me a call, come in for the consultation, drop me an email or give me a call. Okay, thanks.